everyone welcome to my channel welcome to Lakeisha Soap and Co I'm Lakeisha I hope everyone is doing good today in today's video I will be making a cold processed soap with uh, rosemary and sage fragrance so in today's video I have olive oil with Kel and Clay which I've added I have coconut oil and shea butter. I have my live water solution, which I have pre-measured. I have my fragrance oil, which I have pre-measured, and my temperature gun. The first thing we're going to do today is we're going to add the shea butter and the coconut oil into the olive oil and killing clay. And what I'm doing now, I'm just getting all the oil out of the container because I, like I said, I pre-measured everything for my recipe. So we want to make sure we get all the oils out of the container. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is just mix this a little bit to get the kale and clay mixed in with the oils before I get ready to add my live water solution in there. And I'm using a, a stick blender. And what I'm doing, I'm just getting the bubbles out the blender. And I'm going to turn it on low, the lowest setting, just to mix everything in. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is add my live water solution, which I have already pre-measured and dissolved before the video. And it is at 100 degrees. Uh, the lawn into the and soap my oils that are that we're at using. 100 degrees. Don't also. be worried about it because you can't make so soap without lye. So anyone is lie. worried about uh, if you try to uh, make soap without lye, you would just be blending up oils and you will never get soap. Okay? So I'm just stirring this around a little bit to get everything incorporated good. Then I'm going to turn on it slowly. until I get trace and what trace is is when the oil and the lye mix together and you no longer see any oils on top or in another way you can tell is you look at your blender and the oils are not separating the oil and the uh, lye is not separating <laughs>
that's one way you can tell if you're not sure with trace just pull your blender up from your batter and just look at it and make sure it's not separating and I'm gonna make a uh, I'm not sure about the design yet but I'm gonna see as I go Next, I'm adding my fragrance oil. And you want to blend that. Okay, the next step is I'm going to separate this batter. I'm going to uh, put some of this batter into this container. That's good. Okay. Now I'm going to add some of my evergreen mica to this batter. And I'm going to just use my whisk to mix it up right quick. It smells so good, y'all. I wish y'all could sm have smell a phone. I love rosemary and sage. You want to mix that mic in there real good. Just mix, mix, mix. I'm going to try not to st stick that blender back in there. I'm going to try to get it mixed up with this whisk. Because I don't want my batter to thicken, thicken up on me. And it will thicken up on you if you over blend it. And it will be harder to work with. Clean the sides. Just clean the sides off real good. Okay. Just get it out the sides. And I'm going to whisk it in a little more. Just to make sure it's all mixed in. I don't want any specks in this soap. Okay, let me get this out the way. Bring my mold over here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just do a in the pot swirl. Just something simple for the sake of this video. I don't want this video too long. And this is my first video in a minute. So, I want to see how, how it's looking. Okay, and I'm going to just... Pour this, some of this green in each one of these areas. And I'm going to pour the rest in the middle. Scrape my container out. I'm just scraping my container out. Cause like I said, everything is pre-measured and uh, you want to get all your batter out of your container. Okay. I'm 
Okay, and I'm gonna just take this spatula and I'm gonna stick in here in the middle and I'm gonna just go around lightly one time. It's hard not to continue to do it, but I wanna get a little swirl in there. And I'm gonna take my mold that I've already sanitized and cleaned earlier and I'm gonna just pour this batter into the container. get over here so y'all can see and I'm gonna just scrape out the extra batter from the container I got to get my camera situated where I can um y'all can see I'm blocking the camera a little bit but it's okay I'm gonna let y'all see in one second in one little second Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do next is just let this sit for 24 hours and we will come back to cut this soap. I'm not going to texture the top today because like I said, I don't want this video too long and I want to see how these videos are looking. So we'll be back in the morning to see how it looks okay everyone this is the next day and this is the final bar and what i'm going to do today is just cut these this loaf of soap into one inch bars and only thing I do is just take the handle and just mash down and this is what it looks like in the inside I hope y'all can see that good came out pretty good And I just pull the bar back and I just cut and usually I get nine bars of soap from this loaf As you can see, the color kind of lighten up, but it's still pretty and it smells amazing. It's a lot that I didn't get to explain in this first video, but I will explain everything in more detail next time. But I hope y'all got a good understanding from this video. Some kind of understanding. I got to get back comfortable shooting these videos. I really enjoy doing them. And I appreciate y'all that have subscribed to my channel. I'm going to be consistent. And I'm going to start out with like three videos a week. I'm going to see how that works. And see how many views I get. And you know, like I said, I'm going to just see how things go. It is so pretty and it smells so good. I hope y'all can see that. This is my first video. I got to get back used to making it. 
making these videos. So what did y'all think? Did you like this video? If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Comment. Tell me what did you think. And I just use these uh, little bars right here. I let them cure.